خود علم کو نہیں علم ان کے علم کی انتہا خود علم کو نہیں علم ان کے علم کی انتہا جانے ہیں خدا یا حبیب خدا جانے ہیں خدا یا حبیب خدا وہ علم رکھتے ہیں آقا علی المرتضا جو علم نہ رکھے تائے صدرت المنتہا اس علم کے واقف پہ لاکھوں سلام اور مرتضا شیر حق اشحاج الاشجیان ساخی شیر و شربت پہ لاکھوں سلام to speak about تصوف and our dear مولا کائنات حضرت علی المرتضا رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ I would like to present to you a well-known multilingual scholar from the UK, revered from the great Khanka of Ashrafiya and family of Hazrat Makhdoom Ashraf Jangir Simnani Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Alay. Their noble father is Sheikh Tariqat Sayyid Muhammad Ashraf Al Jilani. Their great grandfather was the great Hazrat Muhaddis Azam Hind Kichochavi. Hazrat Sayyid Husseini Ashraf is the 29th descendant of Hazrat Pirani Pir Dastagir Ghaus Azam radiallahu ta'ala an and 39th descendant of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. He started his schooling in Amtul's public school in India and left for the UK enrolling in Hijaz College, Islamic University for Future Studies. He successfully completed his GESCs and A-levels and graduated as an alim in 2005. He enrolled at the University of Birmingham for future studies in Islamic studies and then received an MA. Hazrat then went to Egypt in 2012 to further enhance his expertise in language and theology. Hazrat has been accompanying his noble father since 2005 on spiritual tours and have been actively working for spiritual foundation in the UK and all over the world. In a short period of time, he has worked toward establishing their own masjid, Jamia Sufia, in Leicester, UK. He has gained popularity for his style of speech in English and in Urdu. Alhamdulillah, I am honored who only traveled here today. Alhamdulillah for me as he has stated. He wasn't uh, able and I'm grateful for Hazrat. I want to make sure that we give aghaz and naraz for our beloved Sheikh Sayyid Hazrat Alama Mulana Sayyid Husseini Ashraf Al Jilani. Narai Takbir. Narai Risalat. Narai Risalat, Narai Tehkik, Narai Ghausia, Narai Hedri, Olamai Ahle Sunnat, Olamai Ahle Sunnat, Khan Kai Kichocha Sharif. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, he led the Abdul of Lakh of Alordin. والصلاة والسلام على من كان نبيا وآدم بين الماء والطين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم محمد الرسول الله والذين ما هو شداء ولا الكفار رحماء بينهم صدق الله العظيم إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الله مسلى على سيدنا مولانا محمد طب القلوب و دوائیها و عافت الابدانی و شفائیها و نور الابصار و دیائیها و علی و صحبہ و سلم سبحان ربی کا رب العزت اما اسفون و سلام علی المرسلین و الحمدللہ رب العالمین Respected scholars My brothers, sisters and mothers السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ و برکاتہ وقت کیونکہ ہو چکا ہے مجھ سے پہلے بھی آپ نے ایک شاندار خطاب سنا میرے بعد علامہ سید 
مختار شاہ نعیمی صاحب کا بھی خطاب ہوگا اور میرے چچا حضرت علامہ سید نورانی میاں صاحب کا بھی خطاب ہوگا میں تو یہاں اس لیے آ گیا کہ اللہ اور اس کے رسول کی بات تھی میں نے عمر قادری سے یہ کہا تھا کہ میں نہیں آ سکتا کیونکہ مسائل ہیں انہوں نے کہا نہیں آنا ہے اس لیے کہ سنی کانفرنس ہے جب بات سنیت کی آ جائے تو نہ صحت کو دیکھا جاتا ہے نہ وقت کو دیکھا جاتا ہے اللہ اور اس کے رسول کی رضامندی کو دیکھا جاتا ہے تو میں آ گیا اور یہیں سے میں ائرپورٹ چلا جاؤں گا اس لیے کہ کل مجھے یو کے پہنچنا ہے مقصد آپ سے گفتگو کرنا ہے آئی وانٹ ٹو اسپیک ٹو یو آئی وانٹ ٹو ڈسکس ود یو سرٹن امپورٹنٹ میٹرز ود ان اسلام آئی اسپوک ٹو دی سوفی کاؤنسل آف ٹورانٹو اینڈ دے مینشن ٹو می دیٹ یو مسٹ آلسو اسپیک آن دی کامن لو بٹوین دی صحابہ اینڈ دی اہل البیت That is Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. What is the definition of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah? Love for Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. Balance. Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah is balance. Balance. एक हाथ में सिद्दीक अकबर हो, दूसरे हाथ में मौला अली. जब दोनों की मोहब्बत जमा हो जाए, तब कोई सुन्नी बनता है. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. तब कोई सुन्नी बनता है. देखिए, let me just build up to you. Let me just, please lend me an attentive ear for 40 minutes and I leave you with some questions and some answers, inshallah. But lend me an attentive ear for 40, 40 minutes. Every individual here seeks superiority. We want closeness to Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa Is there anyone who does not want the closeness to Allah and His Messenger? Is there anyone here? No. We all seek the closeness of Allah, the closeness of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We want to raise our spiritual status. The higher you are, the closer you are to them. The higher your status is, the closer you are to Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Everyone wants superiority. The question is, how do we gain superiority? That's the question. You want to be superior, but how do we gain that superiority? Let's, let's, let's discuss this together. Some said you need a lot of knowledge. To be superior, you need a lot of knowledge. Sufis mentioned, hold on. If superiority can be attained through knowledge only, then Iblis had more knowledge. Why isn't Iblis the most superior? Someone said to gain superiority, you need wealth, you need money, dollars. Sufi say, hold on. If wealth was the only way of gaining superiority, why wasn't Firaun superior? Why wasn't Qarun superior? Some said you need power, you need authority, you need superiority, you need power. You need chairmanship, you need a throne, you need authority and power. Sufis mentioned, hold on. If authority, through authority and power, you can gain superiority, then why didn't Yazid gain superiority? So how do we attain superiority? Kuntum khaira ummatim ukhrijat linnas. Me and you, we are the best of communities, best of nation, the best ummah. Why? Because of knowledge, Iblis has more. Because of wealth, Firan had more. Because of power, Yazid had more. Because of authority, Abu Jahl had more. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions, and this is mentioned in, 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 in uh, Imam Hakim's Al-Mustadrak, Al he mentions, Khairul Quruni Qarni. The best of time is my time. The best of times is my time. Ask yourself, we have more better transports, 
we have more facilities, we have more scientific inventions, we have a larger community, we have more wealth than the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have aeroplanes, they used to travel with camels, we have cars and aeroplanes and trains. Yet Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, no, no, the best of times is my time. Ya Rasulullah, how is your time the best of time? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam replies in that same hadith. He says, Al-Qarno alladhi ana fihi. Because it is that time in which I am in it. I am in it. Yani, you can have your wealth. You can have your scientific inventions. You can have your larger community. But where will you bring the sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? What makes you superior? is the nisbat, is the sohbat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why you are the best of community. Remember, Maulana sahab mentioned, la uqsumu bi hazal balad, wa anta hillum bi hazal balad. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, I take an oath by this blessed city of Makkah because you reside in it, ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why we say, you want to gain superiority? Hazrat Abdullah became superior. Why? When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's nur entered, Hazrat Abdullah, he was superior. When it entered Sayyida Amina, she was superior. When the Noor entered the house of Halima Sadia, she was superior. When this Noor entered the cave of Hira, Hira was superior. When this Noor entered the cave of Saur, Saur was superior. When this Noor was on the shoulders of Abu Bakr, the shoulders of Abu Bakr was superior. When this Noor held Hassan and Hussein on his own shoulders, Hassan and Hussein became superior. When this Noor was in Mecca, Mecca was superior. When this Noor entered Medina, Medina was superior. So if you need to see and if you are searching for superiority, then do not look for superiority in wealth and authority and power and influence. If you want superiority, then search the footsteps of Rasulullah. Search for the footsteps of Rasulullah. This is why we say, this is why we say our Quran is the most highest book our quran is highest is the best why because it was revealed upon rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was revealed upon no book is like quran no book is like quran it was the kitab of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam no time is like the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam why it is the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam no city is like Madinatul Munawwara. Why? It is the city of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No family is like the Ahlul Bayt. Why? They are the family of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And no group are like the Sahaba. Why? It is the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Simple as that. Superiority is gained through the nisbat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You want a maqam, you want status, strengthen your ties with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Strengthen your relationship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why my respected, this is why when we talk about, let me just give you, on, on a lighter note, when we talk about deeds, we just don't look at deeds and actions. We look at its association as well. Very, very important. If you are jogging on a mountain, if you, if you run upside down a mountain, it's called jogging. What is it called? Jogging. Jogging. When Sayyida Hajra runs, it becomes Sa'i. <laughs> when you are running, it's jogging. We don't look at the sword, we look at the hands. If the sword is in the hands of Abu Jahl, oppression. If the sword is in the hand of Ali, it is justice. It is justice. We don't look at the wealth. We look at its nisbat. Wealth of Qarun, destruction. Wealth of usman -e ghani blessing. We don't look at the pens and papers and the ink. We look at the hands. We can look at the hands of the writer. If the pen is in the hands of a deviant, it, the book will take you away from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if the same pen is in the hands of Imam Muhammad Raza, he will lead you toward Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He will lead you towards Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Nisbat is important. This is why the ayat which I had the honor of reciting, Muhammadur Rasulullah, walladheena ma'ahu, and those with him. That is the question. That is the question that we need to answer today. Think about it. When you talk about a group, you talk about them. 
this verse which I recited, it talks about the characteristics, it talks about the attributes, it talks about the sifat, it talks about the morality, it talks about the ethics of the companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when I talk about a group, I talk about Sufi Council of Toronto, I talk about them, I talk about its members, I talk about their kindness, I talk about their hospitality. That is generally when you talk about a group, you talk about them. But look at the beauty of Quran. It talks about the Sahaba, but it begins with Mustafa. It talks about the Sahaba, but it begins with Muhammad Rasulullah. It begins with Muhammad Rasulullah. Think about it. Look at the beauty of Quran. Look at the message of Quran. You can talk about your footballers and you know your. You know, I, some people like Messi, some people like Ronaldo, some people like the Brazilian Ronaldo, and you think that I can criticize them and I can talk about them because I am the fan of this celebrity and the fact that I've subscribed to him and I've liked him, I have made him into a superstar. I can talk about them. But when it comes to Sahaba, control your tongue. SubhanAllah. Control your tongue. They're not celebrities made by your subscriptions they're not a group that you like and they became sahaba they're not dependent on your analogies and understandings i understood this is why this sahabi is this no no who is a sahabi a sahabi man laqiyan nabiyya mu'minan bihi wa mata ala al-islam a sahabi is he who met Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with Iman and died upon Islam. Right? That is a sahabi. Simple as that. And Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what does he mention about sahabi? Ida dhukira ashabi, famsiku. When my companions are mentioned in front of you, control yourself. Control your tongue. Stop yourself. Because you can talk about those groups and those people who are famous because of you but they are not a group the sahaba are not a group that are made by your acknowledgements they are made through the sohba of Rasulullah they are made through the companionship of Rasulullah and this is why we as Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah what do we mention we say we respect every sahabi of Rasulullah we respect Every Sahabi of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, think about it, think about it. You know, when there's a lot of people, you gain, you want to gain, you know, they, they work hard, right? They become, they reach the peaks, they work hard through their efforts, right? Think about it. From a worldly point of view, when you work hard through your wisdom, through your knowledge, through your efforts, from a worldly point of view, when you reach your peak, you become a doctor, you become an engineer, you become a, a, a scientist, you become an IT technician, you become a surgeon, you become a pilot, and from a religious point of view, when you reach your peak, someone becomes a wali, someone becomes a shaheed, someone becomes ghaus, someone becomes khaja mawinuddin chisti, someone becomes imam azam abu hanifa, someone becomes imam shafi. But if you gather all these individuals together, they still do not reach the maqam of a sahabi. They cannot reach the maqam of a sahabi. Why? Because these individuals, through the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, were made through their own efforts, through their own hard work. A sahabi is made through the sohba of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. This is why when you look at Sayyidina Siddiqui Akbar, don't just look at him. Look at the feet of Rasulullah on his shoulders as well. Do not just look at Umar. Look at the hands of Rasulullah holding the hands of Umar. Do not just look at Usman. Look at the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for Usman. Do not just look at Ali. But look at that flag which was handed over to Ali by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Do not just look at Amir Muawiyah. Look at his companionship with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hazrat Abdullah ibn Mubarak was asked who is most superior, Umar bin Abdul Aziz or Amir Muawiyah. Do you know what he said? He said the dust which came out from the nose of the horse of Amir Muawiyah is superior than Umar bin Abdul Aziz. Think about it. Dust. How can dust be superior to a man? How can dust be superior to a man? The reality is, it's not an ordinary dust because this dust came out of the horse of that horse upon which sat a man who had the company and the sohbah of Rasulullah This is why this horse is also blessed. The dust is also blessed. It has the nisbat of a sahabi. 
This is why my respected friends and elders, yaad rakhiye. Is liye ki musse kaha gaya ki Urdu mein bhi baat karni hai. Aur Urdu angrezi mein bada pechida mamla hota hai. Angrezi mein to gadi tesre gear pe chardi hai. Urdu mein to paanch mein sahi shuru hoti hai. Hai na? To ye badi ajeeb baat hai. Lekin aap zara khayal rakhe. Tabajje farmaye. Rohmau bai na hum. एक दूसरे के साथ ये रहम करते थे लड़ते झगड़ते तो आप है ना इन्हें नबी की तरबियत हासिल थी नबी की सोहबत हासिल थी इन्हें नबी की सोहबत हासिल थी अब आप देखें ना नबी की तालीम कोई ऐसा है कोई ऐसा बेटा हो जो ये ना चाहे कि मेरा बाप मुझे सबसे ज्यादा चाहे सब यही चाहते ना बेटा ये चाहता है कि मेरे वालिद मुझे सबसे ज्यादा चाहे शागिर्द ये चाहता है मेरा उस्ताद मुझे सबसे ज्यादा चाहे बेटी ये चाहती मेरा बाप मुझे ज्यादा चाहे बीवी ये चाहती है मेरा शोहर सबसे ज्यादा मुझे चाहे ये है कि नहीं आप हजरत आयशा से पूछिए कि आप बताइए कि हुजूर औरतों में सबसे ज्यादा किससे मोहब्बत करते थे फरमाती सईदा फातिमा से किससे सईदा फातिमा से और पूछा मर्दों में कहा अली से कहा अली से बुखारी शरीफ उठा के देखी जब हुजूर से पूछा गया या रसूलुल्लाह आप औरतों में सबसे ज्यादा किससे मोहब्बत करते हैं फरमाए सईद आयशा से और कहा मर्दों में कहा उन्हीं के वालिद अबू बकर से क्या बात है सैदा आयशा तो कह रही हैं सईदा फातिमा से सैदा फातिमा से कहो तो वो कहेंगी सैदा आयशा से क्या किसी को नहीं मालूम था कि सबसे ज्यादा किसको चाहते थे यही नबी की तालीम थी आयशा से कहा तुम फातिमा का जिक्र करो फातिमा से कहा तुम आयशा का जिक्र करो सिद्दीक को मौला का वजीफा दे दिया मौला को सिद्दीक का वजीफा दे दिया मौला को सिद्दीक का वजीफा दे दिया देखिए ना वो ताली मुझे एक वो रिवायत याद आ रही है कि हजरत सिद्दीक अकबर हुजूर के साथ बैठे थे और दूसरे सहाबा भी थे हजरत अली तशरीफ लाए जब अंदर हाजिर हुए हजूर की बारगाह में जब हाजिर हुए तो हजूर ने देखा कि देखें इनके लिए कौन उठता है तो इतने में देखा सिद्दीकी अकबर उड़ गए सिद्दीकी अकबर उड़ गए जब सिद्दीकी अकबर उठे तो बगल में सईदना अली को बैठा हुजूर मुस्कुराने लगे हुजूर देखिए तालीम की बात है हुजूर मुस्कुराने लगे हुजूर ने फरमाया फजीलत वाले को फजीलत वाला ही जानता है फजीलत वाले को फजीलत वाला ही जानता है देखिए ये नबी की तालीम थी अहले बैत को साहबा का वजीफा दे दिया साहबा को अहले बैत का वजीफा दे दिया साहबा को अहले बैत का वजीफा दे दिया कोई मामूली बात नहीं है अरयाद नजरा की वो रिवायत मुझे याद आ रही है कि हजरत सिद्दीकी अकबर मौला अली के चेहरे को देख के मुस्कुरा रहे हैं मौला अली के चेहरे को देख के मुस्कुरा रहे हैं मौला अली ने पूछा अय अबू बकर आप मेरे चेहरे को देख के क्यों मुस्कुरा रहे हैं तो सैदना सिद्दीकी अकबर ने कहा कि मैंने अपने कानों से हुजूर को कहते हुए सुना है ला ये जूजू आदनुस्राता इल्ला इल्ला मन कतबा लहू अली अरे कुल शराज से उस वक्त तक कोई नहीं गुजर सकता जब तक अली इजाजत ना दे दे जब तक अली इजाजत ना दे दे इसीलिए मैं आपके चेहरे को देख के मुस्कुरा रहा था इसीलिए मैं आपके चेहरे को देख के मुस्कुरा रहा था सिद्दीकी अकबर से यह कहा मौला अली भी मुस्कुराने लगे मौला अली भी मुस्कुराने लगे और काबू बकर आपको भी खुशखबरी हो आपको भी खुशखबरी हो आपसे यह कहा मुझसे भी एक बात कही है मुझसे भी एक बात कही है मुझसे भी एक बात कही है आपसे यह कहा कि उसको उस वक्त तक एक इंसान पुलसरा से गुजर नहीं सकता जब तक अली इजाजत ना दे दे मुझसे यह कहा है अली इजाजत ना देना जब तक उसके दिल में अबू बकर की मोहब्बत ना हो जब तक अबू बकर की मोहब्बत ना हो देख लिया तो नबी की तालीमत की बुनियाद पर सिद्दीकी अकबर कह रहे हैं क्या कह रहे हैं ऐ नबी के उम्मतियों पुल शराब से गुजरना चाहते हो तो अली की इजाजत लेकर आओ अली की इजाजत लेकर आओ और नबी की तालीमत की बुनियाद पर मौला अली कह रहे हैं अरे मेरी इजाजत चाहते हो अबू बकर की मोहब्बत लेकर आओ अभी अबू बकर की मोहब्बत लेकर आओ क्या मकाम है क्या बुलंदी है इसीलिए देखिए दोस्तों बुजुर्ग दिस इज वाई आई से दिस इज दी The reality, the essence of Ahlul Sunnah, the love of both Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. Think about it. If you think about it, one is the ship, है ना? Safina ti Nuh. My family is like the ship of Nuh. The others, Ashabi kan Nuju. My companions are like stars. Ahlul Bayt is like the ship. Companions are like the stars. Ship is your transport. Stars are your navigation. You need both to 
to reach to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You need the sahaba, you need the transport, and you need the navigation. You need the navigation. This is why, Abab Dekhi, this is why, look at the maqam of Sayyidina Siddiq Yakbar and Sayyidina Mawla Ali. At one maqam during the migration, during hijrah, Rasulullah sallallahu commanded, Abu Bakr, take me on your shoulders. Abu Bakr, take me on your shoulders. And during the Fateh of Makkah, in Kaabatullah, when they were cleaning it with idols, Prophet Sallallahu said to Ali, Ali, stand on my shoulders. Stand on my shoulders. Now see, where is Rasul? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is as attached to Abu Bakr as he is to Sayyidina Ali. Chahe upar se dekho ya niche se dekho. He is attached to Sayyidina Siddiqui Akbar as he is to Sayyidina Ali. He loves the Sahaba as much he loves his family. The Ahlul Bayt. They are both important to us. And this is why a lot of people go to Makkatul Mukarramah. They still cannot find Rasulullah Sallallahu Some people live in Madinatul Munawwara. They still cannot find Rasulullah Sallallahu Someone said to me, I have been reading books and I have been searching for Rasulullah Sallallahu I cannot find him. You are searching at the wrong places. Haven't you seen Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He is between Ali and Abu Bakr as siddiq If you want to search for Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if you want to search for Muhammad or Rasulullah, then the meme of Muhammad is between the Alif of Abu Bakr and the year of Ali. You need to find Muhammad or Rasulullah, then find him between the Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. This is why my respected friends and elders, hold on to the, both. If you want to cross the bridge of Sirat, hold on to the love of Abu Bakr and the permission of Ali. <laughs> and the permission of Ali. Ali. This is what Absi Vito Siddiqui Akbar ki baat hui. Think about Sayyidina Umar. He had immense love for Ahlul Bayt. Sayyidina Umar had Iman, Iman, people, when people say they were the enemies, they, were, uh, they didn't like the Ahlul Bayt, total lies. Ruhma ubaynahum. Quran states, I'm not going to take the words of historians over the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> Don't bring in weak and fabricated and misunderstood narrations. I have the verse from Quran. Ruhma ubaynahum. They were merciful to each other. <laughs> Sayyidina Umar, Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Sayyidina Umar. Imam Hassan um, came to him. And look at the beauty. When after an expedition, the wealth were distributed. You know, after an expedition, the wealth was distributed in Medina, in Masjid Nabi. Imam Hassan was there, Imam Hussein was there, Abdullah ibn Umar was there, the son of Sayyidina Umar. He gave 500 dirham to Abdullah ibn Umar and he gave 1,000 dirham to Hazrat Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein. When Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein left, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Umar, the son of uh, uh, Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala who asked father you gave them 500 extra although we did the same task we did the same task but you gave them 500 dirham extra Hazrat Umar said to his son Abdullah issue is not about money or giving or taking that's not the issue the issue is you are the son of Umar they are the children of Ali they are the children of their mother is Sayyida Fatima. Their mother is Sayyida Fatima. Their family is Jafar Tayyar and Umehani. Their maternal uncle is Ibrahim bin Muhammad Rasulullah. Sayyidina Umar is saying this. Their family is Ruqayya and Umm Kulsum and Zainab. They are the grandchildren of Muhammad Rasulullah he is saying in other words my son bring these relationships and I will give you another 500 I have no issues in giving you money bring these relationships look at the love for the Ahlul Bayt and when Sayyidina Ali this is mentioned in uh, 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 Izalatul Khafa when uh, Hazrat Sayyidina Ali heard about this do you know what he said? He said, I heard from the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said to me that Umar is Siraju Ahli Jannah, is the lamp of the people of Jannah. When Sayyidina Umar heard this, he came to Sayyidina Ali. Ya Ali, did you hear it? 
Did you hear the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying this? He said, Yes, I've heard it with my own ears. He said, Can you write it for me so I can take it to my grave? Can you write it down for me so I can take it to my grave? Look at the love between Sayyidina Ali. Look at the love between Sayyidina Ali and Sayyidina Umar. Can you write it down for me so I can take it to my grave? Think about it. And I can, uh, 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 there's, a, there's a narration in Musannaf uh, Ibn Abi Shaiba. And he mentions, uh, uh, Hazrat Abu Maryam, he mentions that he went to Hazrat Ali. And Hazrat Ali was uh, wearing an old mantle. An old mantle, he was wearing it. And Hazrat Abu Maryam said, Ya Amir al-Mu'meen, uh, let's exchange it. Let's get you a brand new one. This is old now. Sayyidina Ali started crying. He said, do you know who gave this to me? My Khalil gave this to me. My Khalil gave this to me. Abu Maryam asked, uh, Ya Amir al-Mu'mineen, who is your Khalil? Who was your Khalil? Who was your Khalil? He said, My Khalil was Umar. My Khalil was Umar radiallahu ta'ala. Look at the love between Sayyidina Umar and Sayyidina Ali. Umar dies with the written note of Sayyidina Ali. Ali lives with the mantle of Umar. Look at the love between Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. You are making them enemies, not Quran. Not Sahih Hadith. There was no disputes. If they had disputes, they managed it with between themselves. It's not for us to judge. Now, see, na, ki yaha bhi ek baat hai, yaha bhi ek maqam hai, ki Hazrat Imam Hasan, he wanted to meet Rasul uh, Hazrat Hazrat uh, Umar radhiyallahu taala anhu. Hazrat Umar was busy with Sayyidina Mir Muawiyah, so. He saw Abdullah ibn Umar entering the house, but Sayyidina Umar did not give permission to his son. So Imam Hassan left. Imam Hassan left. I'm talking about it from a Sufi point of view. Uh-huh. Why 500 dirham to his son and 1,000 to Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain? Um, let's talk about it from a Sufi point of view. What do the Sufis say? They say there's a difference in giving. There's a difference in in giving, when Imam Hassan did not, he saw that Abdullah ibn Umar did not get, get permission from his father, he left. When Sayyidina Umar found out later that Imam Hassan came but did not enter, he, he went to uh, Imam Hassan, he said, why didn't you come in? He said, oh, I, I saw that you did not, you were busy with Amir Mu'awiyah and you did not give your son permission. I thought, if you do not give your son permission, why would you give me permission? Hazrat Umar said, my son is different, you are different. You have a different maqam. Next time when you come, you do not need permission to enter my house. You do not need permission. In another narration, you know what he says? You know what he says? He says, In innama ambata ma tara fi ru'is fi ru'is in Allah wa thumma antum. He said, he said to Imam Hassan, he says, Do you see all this honor and all this dignity and all this respect that you see on our head? is through Allah and through you all Ahlul Bayt. In other words, he's telling his son, my son, the reality is that whatever I have is through Allah and through the blessings of Ahlul Bayt. Remember, when I give you 500 dirham, I'm giving you. But when I give Hassan and Hussein a thousand dirham, I'm not giving them what belongs to me. I'm returning to them what already belongs to them. I'm returning to them what already belongs to them. This was the love of the Ahlul Bayt and Sahaba. Hazrat Usman ka maqam kya hai? Aap unki mohabbat dekhiye. Main to ab mukhtasar andaz mein bayan karna chahta hu. Baat to badi thi. Hazrat Maula Ali ne Musannaf Ibn Abi Shaiba ki riwayat hai ki ek ek maqam par to surah Maida ki wo ayat padi ki iza mattaqu wa amanu hai na? Wa amilu salihat fir summattaqu wa amanu summattaqu wa ahsanu wallahu yuhibbul muhsinin. تو جب یہ آئے پڑھ رہے تھے حضرت مولا علی جب یہ آئے پڑھ رہے تھے تو جب تقو کی بات اذا مت تقو کی بات ہے تو کہا کانا عثمان من اللذین تقو کہ عثمان بھی متقین میں سے تھے پھر آمنو کی بات ہے کہا عثمان بھی اس میں سے تھے پھر اتقوے کی بات ہے کہا عثمان بھی اس میں سے تھے پھر ایمان کی بات ہے کہا عثمان بھی اس میں سے تھے پھر احسان کی بات ہے کہا عثمان بھی اس میں سے تھے دیکھیں نا قرآن کس پر نازل ہوئی علم کے شہر پر اس علم وہ قرآن کی جب تفسیر کر رہے ہیں تو یہاں عثمان تو اب عثمان کون ہے یہی سے سمجھ لو میرے علی امام المؤمنین ہے میرے علی امام المؤمنین ہے وہ علی جسے مومن کہے وہ عثمان ہوتا ہے میرے علی امام المتقین ہے وہ علی جسے متقی کہہ دے وہ عثمان ہوتا ہے میرے علی سید المحسنین ہے 
وہ علی جسے محسن کہہ دے وہ عثمان ہوتا ہے میرے علی کا ذکر عبادت ہے وہ علی جس کا ذکر کرے وہ عثمان ہوتا ہے یہ مقام ہے عثمان کا آپ کو یاد ہونا چاہیے کہ جب حضرت علی کی شادی کی بات آئی تو حضرت علی کے پاس اتنی دولت نہ تھی کہ وہ مہر ادا کرتے حضور نے پوچھا تمہارے پاس کیا ہے تو فرمایا میرے پاس ایک زرا ہے تو کہا جا اس کو بیج دو اور جو پیسہ آ جائے اس سے مہر ادا کر دینا جب گئے تو حضرت عثمان سے ملاقات ہوئی جب گئے تو کس سے ملاقات ہوئی حضرت عثمان سے ملاقات ہوئی حضرت عثمان نے کہا کہ یہ کتنے کی ہے تقریباً کچھ چالیس درہم کی ہوگی یا پچاس درہم کی ہوگی تو حضرت عثمان نے روایتوں میں آیا ہے حضرت عثمان نے اسے پانچ سو درہم کی خرید لیا کتنے خریدا پانچ سو درہم کی خرید لیا اور جب لے لیا پانچ سو درہم دے دیا پھر ایک مسئلہ بھی پوچھا کیا مسئلہ پوچھا کہ اے علی یہ تو میری ملکیت میں آ گئی ہے نا اب کیا مجھے اجازت ہے اس ذرا کے ساتھ میں جو چاہوں کروں کہا آپ کی ملکیت ہے آپ جو چاہیں کریں اچھا کہا جب یہ میری ملکیت ہے تو آپ آپ ہی سے لے جائیں پھر میں اسے آپ کو ہدیا میں اسے آپ کو ہدیا کرتا ہوں اس لیے کہ زرا تو اللہ کے شیری پہ اچھی لگے گی زرا تو خدا کے شیری پہ اچھی لگے گی تو حضرت عثمان کہ دیکھیے وہ بات ہوئی نا اسی لیے ایک ایسا مقام آیا کہ جب حضرت عثمان کی شہادت ہونے والی تھی اور ان کے گھر کو گھیر لیا گیا تھا نہ پانی کی اجازت تھی نہ کھانے کی اجازت تھی تو حضرت مولا علی نے امام حسن سے کہا امام حسین سے کہا کہ جاؤ تم دروازے پہ پہرا دو عثمان کے دروازے پہ پہرا دو بڑے تعجب کی بات ہے کسی اور کو بھی کہہ سکتے تھے لیکن تاکید کر رہے ہیں کہ اے حسن اے حسین جا کے تم عثمان کے گھر کا پہرا دو اس لیے کہ مجھے وہ تفسیر یاد آ رہی ہے وہ قرآن کی آیت کہ مرج البحرین یلتقیان مرج البحرین یلتقیان امام سیوتی دور منصور میں کہتے ہیں اس کی ایک تفسیر یہ ہے کہ مرج البحرین یلتقیان جب دو سمندر ملے ایک سمندر کا نام علی ہے دوسرے سمندر کا نام فاطمہ ہے دوسرے سمندر کا نام فاطمہ ہے پھر دوسری آیت میں فرماتے ہیں یخرجو منہومل لوول مرجان اس میں سے لوول مرجان نکلے کہا ایک حسن ہے دوسرے حسین ہے دیکھئے تو اب دیکھئے جب حضرت عثمان پر مصیبت آئی ایک ایسا وقت آیا کہ گھر کو گھیل لیا گیا تو حضرت علی نے کہا اے حسن اے حسین تم وہاں چلے جاؤ کسی اور کو بھی بھیج سکتے تھے کسی اور کو بھی بلا سکتے تھے کسی اور کو بھی حکم دے سکتے تھے لیکن اپنے بیٹے کو دے رہے ہیں ہمیں یہ بتا رہے ہیں دیکھو مرج البحرین یلتقیان میں عثمان کی دولت کا بڑا کردار تھا عثمان کی دولت کا بڑا کردار تھا علی اور فاطمہ کے نکاح میں عثمان کی دولت کا بڑا کردار تھا اس لیے اب عثمان کی حفاظت حفاظت عثمان کوئی اور نہیں اللولو والمرجان ہی کریں گے اللولو والمرجان ہی کریں گے کیا مقام کی بات ہے کیا بلندی کی بات ہے اسی لیے دوستو بزرگو میں کیا بتاؤں آپ کو یہ صحابہ اور اہل بیت کی جو محبت ہے یہ ہم قرآن سے بھی سیکھتے ہیں حدیث سے بھی سیکھتے ہیں just one example small example رحمہ و بینہم they were merciful to each other they were merciful to each other now would you keep your son's name ابو جہل or ابو لہب would you keep your son's name یزید اور فرعون نمرود why why would you not keep your son's name نمرود you'd say he's the enemy of Ibrahim فرعون enemy of سیدنا موسیٰ ابو لہب enemy of رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم why would you not keep your children's name یزید enemy of اہل البیت right you would keep your children his name on the names of righteous individuals good individuals look at the Ahlul Bayt before you start questioning Sayyidina Siddiq Akbar and Sayyidina Umar and Sayyidina Usman ask Sayyidina Ali Sayyidina Ali would tell you I had many children one of them was called Abu Bakr one of them was called Umar one of them was called Osman Hazrat Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain would say we also had children one of my son's name was Abu Bakr Imam Zainul Abuddin would say I would I also had a son his name was Omar Imam Jafar as Sadiq would say I I also had a daughter her name was Aisha if these were the enemy of Ahlul Bayt why would the Ahlul Bayt keep their children's name upon their names? Allah. Upon their names. This is why when the Sufis, Sufi Council of Toronto, the Sufis, what do they mention? When someone is abusing Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, ask them, which Abu Bakr are you talking about? Abu Bakr ibn Tahafa or Abu Bakr ibn Ali? <laughs> when, they, when someone is abusing Umar, 
ask them which Umar are you talking about? Umar ibn al-Khattab or Umar ibn Zain al-Abideen when they, when they are criticizing Sayyida Aisha ask which Aisha are you talking about? Aisha binti Abi Bakr or Aisha binti Jafar al-Sadiq the Ahlul Bayt the pure Ahlul Bayt kept the names of the pure Sahaba for the children so that these names cannot be forgotten or cannot be taken out from the lineage of Ahlul Bayt from the lineage of Ahlul Bayt I say Siddiqui Akbar Siddiqui Akbar never carried anyone on his shoulders except Rasulullah and his two grandsons he never carried anyone on his shoulders except Rasulullah and Hassan and Hussein so Hassan and Hussein kept their children's name Abu Bakr Abu Bakr Ya Abu Bakr you took Hassan and Hussein on your shoulders one day there will be a time when Hassan and Hussein will take Abu Bakr on their shoulders when Ahsan and Hussain will take Abu Bakr on their shoulders. This is the maqam, the love of Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. Love of Sahaba and Ahlul Bayt. And we hold on to both. We don't discriminate. Faisla karne wale hum koi nahi hai. Faisla karne wale hum na hum koi hai na aap koi hai. Dikhe na ki insaan ki maqam ki jaha انتہا ہوتی ہے وہاں مومن کے مقام کی ابتدا ہوتی ہے مومن کے مقام کی انتہا ولی کے مقام کی ابتدا ولی کے مقام کی انتہا صحابی کے مقام کی ابتدا صحابی کے مقام کی انتہا نبی کے مقام کی ابتدا جہاں تمام انبیاء کے مقام کی انتہا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے مقام کی ابتدا اب آپ دیکھیں نا میں علماء سے یہاں پوچھنا چاہتا ہوں یہاں ہمارے جید علماء بیٹھے ہیں کہ کسی شرعی مسئلے میں غیر مسلم کی گواہی لینا جائز ہے کچھ مسئلہ ہے غیر مسلم آکے کہے کہ میں نے چاند دیکھا عید کا منائیں گے عید تو مومنین کے مسئلے میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو مومن ہونا ضروری مومنین کے مسائل میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو مومن ہونا ضروری ہے اولیاء کے مسائل میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو ولی ہونا ضروری ہے ولی ہونا ضروری ہے خاجگان کے مسائل میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو خاجہ ہونا ضروری ہے اغیاس کے مسائل میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو غوث ہونا ضروری ہے صحابہ کے مسائل میں فیصلہ کرنا ہے تو صحابی ہونا ضروری ہے صحابی ہونا ضروری ہے تو میں نے پوچھا تم کیوں فیصلہ کر رہے ہو کیا تم صحابی ہو کہا نہیں کیا علی ہو کہا نہیں کیا معاویہ ہو کہا نہیں کیا نبی ہو کہا نہیں میں نے کہا جب تم تینوں نہیں ہو تو فیصلہ کیوں کرتے ہو جب تینوں نہیں ہو تو فیصلہ کیوں کرتے ہو فیصلہ نہیں کرنا ہے تم کو تو صرف ماننا ہے جو نبی نے کہہ دیا ہے تمہیں تو صرف ماننا ہے جو علی نے کہہ دیا ہے علی کی وسیعت کیا تھی امام حسن امام حسین سے تمام اصحاب رسول کا خیال لکھنا یہ نہیں کہا کہ تمام اصحاب رسول کا خیال لکھنا الا معاویہ معاویہ کو چھوڑ کر کہا جتنے بھی صحابی رسول ہیں سب کا خیال لکھنا سب کی عزت کرنا سب کی عزت کرنا اس لئے دوست اور بزرگ و مقام کی بلندی ہے میں مجھے وقت کبھی اندازہ ہے اس لئے کہ وقت بھی ختم ہوتا جا رہا ہے باتیں بڑی تھیں لیکن میں اپنی آخری بات کر کے میں رخصت ہونا چاہتا ہوں when people say there are a lot of people who say we believe and I'm talking to individuals who believe حضرت امیر معاویہ was a صحابی does people believe in that سیدنا امیر معاویہ was a صحابی but what is illogical to me is when they say he is a sahabi but has no virtue let's test this this statement he is a sahabi but he has no virtue let's test this together okay an individual has been elected the prime minister of a country but has no authority if you are a prime minister of a country authority comes with it this man is a professor of a university but has no knowledge is this logical if you are a professor of a university knowledge comes with it similarly it is illogical to say that a sahabi is a sahabi but has no virtue if you are a sahabi virtues come with it greatness comes with it maqam comes with it if you are a sahabi what is when you are saying that Sayyidina Amir Mahaviyah is a sahabi you are acknowledging his greatness because there is no greater maqam for an ummati of Rasulullah than to being a sahabi of Rasulullah 
So when you are saying that he is a Sahabi, you have already said, you have already said that he is, he is great. And if you are saying that, when we say we remain silent, we remain silent on the disputes of the Sahaba. Matters of dispute, we remain silent. We know that Haq is with Ali, Ali is with Haq. We know that. But we do not abuse others. We do not swear at others. We remain silent on disputes, not silent on the praises of the Sahaba. When someone raises slogans in the praises of Amir Mu'awiya and you believe he is a Sahabi, that individual has a right to do that. Because he's talking about a companion of Rasulullah. And if you are going to say to me that if you praise Sayyidina Amir Mu'awiya and I will take you out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, if you are going to say that to me, then I'll say that to you, have the guts to take Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Have the guts to take Imam Tirmizi out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Take Imam Zahabi out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Take Ibn Hajar of Qalani out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Take Imam Bukhari out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Take Data Hajwari out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Take Ghazi Azam Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. By the time you end taking people out of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the only person left on your list will be your own self and probably your PlayStation 4 at home. Nothing else. Nothing else. Allah Hazrat ne faisla kar diya. Kya? Ek aisa fatwa diya. Aur wo bhi faisla kiska faisla? Jo Nabi ka tha, jo Ali ka tha. Kya? Ali ka kya? Nabi ka kya faisla? Al-Haq. Al-Haq maa Ali. Wa Ali maa al-Haq. Haq Ali ke saath hai, Ali Haq ke saath. Ab kya matalab Haq ko dhundna hai, to Ali ko dhundo. Ali ko dhundna hai, to Haq ko dhundo. اب جہاں جہاں حق دکھے سمجھ جانا علی یہی ہے اور جہاں جہاں علی دکھے سمجھ جانا حق یہی ہے سمجھ جانا علی اب دیکھیں نا آلہ حضرت امام احمد رضا خان کیا فرماتے ہیں حق علی کے ساتھ تھا ہمیشہ تھا ہمیشہ رہے گا ہر مرحلے پہ تھا لیکن اگر ان کی حضرت امیر معاویہ سے جو جنگ ہوئی تھی اس بنیاد پر حضرت امیر معاویہ سے جو خطاء استحادی ہوئی اگر کوئی گالی اگر کوئی لان تان کرتا ہے تو وہ جہنم کے کتوں میں سے ایک کتا ہے یہ مجدد فرما رہا ہے کون فرما رہا ہے مجدد کا قولیے ہوتا ہے کیا فرما رہا ہے کہ جہنم کے دیکھیں یہاں آلہ حضرت نے یہ نہیں کہا کہ وہ جہنمیوں میں سے ایک جہنمی ہے یہاں کہا جہنم کے کتوں میں سے ایک کتا ہے اس لئے کہ میرے امام کے علم کو معمولی نہ سمجھنا فتوہ بھی بڑی گہرائی سے دیتے ہیں اس لئے معاویہ اس میں معاویہ کا ایک معنی ہے معاویہ اس ستارے کو کہتے ہیں کس ستارے کو اس ستارے کو کہ جب وہ دکھتا ہے تو کتے بھوکتے ہیں جب وہ جب وہ دکھتا ہے تو کیا ہوتا ہے کتے دیکھ کے بھوکتے ہیں تو آلہ حضرت بھی یہی کہہ رہے ہیں جو عادت دنیا میں پالی تھی نا حشر میں بھی ویسا ہی ویسا ہی جہنم میں جانا دنیا میں بھی بھوک رہے تھے اب جہنم میں بھی بھوکتے رہنا ہم صحابی رسول کو مانتے ہیں ہم ان کی صحبت کو مانتے ہیں ہم ان کی عظمت کو مانتے ہیں ہم ان کی بلندی کو مانتے ہیں اور یاد رکھئے گا ہم جب کسی صحابی کی عزت کرتے ہیں تو یاد رکھئے گا there is no comparison between سیدنا امیر معاویہ and سیدنا مولا علی حضرت علی کا تو مقام ہی دوسرا تھا میں تو ایسا کہتا ہوں کہ حضرت علی وہ نقطہ ہے کہ جس کے بغیر کوئی جماعت ہی مکمل نہیں چار میں بھی علی پانچ میں بھی علی دس میں بھی علی تین سو تیرہ میں بھی علی قادریوں میں بھی علی رفائیوں میں بھی علی برکاتیوں میں بھی علی صوفیہ میں بھی علی مجددین میں بھی علی محدثین میں بھی علی علی ایک ایسا نقطہ ہے جو اگر تحریر پہ نہ ہو تو تحریر پوری نہیں ہوتی ہے تحریر پوری نہیں ہوتی ہے اور حضرت علی تو اپنے آپ کو خود نقطہ کہتے ہیں فرماتے ہیں کہ تمام علوم جو آسمانی کتابوں میں تھا وہ قرآن میں ہے تمام علوم جو قرآن میں ہے وہ سورہ فاتحہ میں ہے تمام علوم جو سورہ فاتحہ میں ہے وہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں ہے تمام علوم جو بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں ہے وہ بسم اللہ کے با میں ہے تمام علوم جو بسم اللہ کے با میں ہے وہ بسم اللہ کے با کے جو نیچے نقطہ ہے اس میں ہے اور یہ پھر کیا فرماتے ہیں انا نقطہ تو اللہ تی تحت البا اس با کے نیچے جو نقطہ ہے مولا علی کہتے ہیں وہ میں ہی ہوں وہ میں ہی ہوں کیا مطلب علی کیا مطلب صوفیہ فرماتے ہیں قرآن کی تعلیمات کو سمیٹ دو تو علی بنتا ہے علی کی صیرت کو پھیلا دو تو قرآن بنتا ہے کیا مقام ہے کیا بلندی ہے 
تو مولا علی کا جو مقام ہے اس مقام تک تو کوئی نہیں پہنچ سکتا ہے لیکن ہم ہر صحابی کی عزت کرتے ہیں یہی حضرت مولا علی کی وسیعت تھی ہر صحابی کی عزت کرو اس لیے کہ انہیں عزت تمہاری وجہ سے نہیں ملی آپ نے تعریف منقبت پڑھی یہ آپ کی قسمت ہے وہ بنے ہیں نبی کی صحبت سے اپنے عمل سے نہیں بنے اپنے عمل سے نہیں بنے مصطفیٰ کی صحبت سے بنے ہیں اب ان پر انگلی اٹھانا نبی کی صحبت پر انگلی اٹھانا ہے ان کو لان تان کرنا نبی کی تربیت کو لان تان کرنا ہے تو ہم جب صحابہ کی بات آئے تو ہم خاموش رہیں اور ان کے اختلافات کی بات آئے تو ہمیں خاموشی اختیار کرنی چاہیے ورنہ صحابہ جب آپ نے کہہ دیا کوئی صحابی ہے تو اس سے بڑی عظمت کیا ہے امتی کے لیے اس سے بڑی عظمت کیا ہے دوست اور بزرگوں میں اپنی بات یہیں ختم کرنا چاہتا ہوں میرے خیال سے وقت بھی ہو چکا ہے میں یہ ضرور کہنا چاہوں گا کہ حضرت مولا علی کا اپنا ایک منفرد مقام ہے لاسٹ بات منفرد مقام دیکھیے ہم جج جو کرتے ہیں نا بڑے آسان سے جج کر لیتے ہیں وین وی وہ آج کل تو ڈی این اے ٹیسٹ ہوتا ہے نا کیا ہوتا ہے دے ڈو اے ڈی این اے ٹیسٹ ٹو فائنڈ آؤٹ ہوز یو فادر ہے نا سرٹن پروسیجر ٹیک یو بلڈ ٹیسٹ دے ٹیک یو ہیئر دے ٹیک یو سلائیوا رائٹ وائی بیکاز الحمد للہ دس ڈزن ہیپن آفٹن ان اوور کمیونٹی بٹ ادر کمیونٹیز اٹ ہیپنس ڈو نو ہو دے فادر از یہ تو سم ٹائم دے ڈو بلڈ ٹیسٹ دس از سائنٹیفک انوینشن تھرو بلڈ ٹیسٹ تھرو دی ہے تھرو دی سلائیوا تھرو دی اسپٹ وی ہیو اوور اون میتھڈالوجی فورٹین ہنڈریڈ ایئرس We don't need your blood, nor do we need your saliva, nor do we need your hair. We just say the word Ali. What do we say? Ali, Ali in front of you. If you smile with happiness, then go and kiss your present father. And if you are sad with grief, then go search for your new father. Because he is the test. Munafiq ko pehchanna hai. Munafiq ko pehchanna hai. Ali ka naam lelo. علی کا نام لے لو ہی از دا ٹیسٹ آف یہ ایمان تو اہل سنت والجماعہ از اے کمبینیشن اف دی لو اف صحابہ دی لو اف اہل البیت وین دے ار بوت کمبائنڈ دیر از دی ڈیفینیشن اف اہل سنت والجماعہ مے اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی گیو اس دی توفیق ٹو ریمین فرم آن دس مسلک ٹو ریمین فرم اپن اہل سنت والجماعت سو دیٹ وی مے اسپریڈ دی ٹرو ٹیچنگز آئی ایم ناٹ ہیئر to criticize individuals. No, I'm here to present the truth. We do not criticize a Sahabi of Rasulullah Wasallam. If you are a Sunni, if you consider Hazrat Amir Mu'awiyah as a Sahabi, you have no right to criticize him. Why? Because he is a companion of Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam. Iza Zukira Ashabi. I'm not saying this. Iza Zukira Ashabi. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when my companions are mentioned in front of you, from Siku, control yourself. Control yourself. They are not made by your Facebook book likes and Twitter following. They are not made by that. They are made through the company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the Sufi Council of Toronto for organizing this Sunni conference on creed and on a'mal. And, on, 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 and, and I, I want to advise them, you know, no matter what criticisms come, no matter who criticizes you, remain firm on your path. With, with power, strength and courage, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your protector. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will bless you in this world and in your grave and on the day of judgment. Remain firm, continue organizing these events and continue calling scholars of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa so our youngsters can know the true creed of our aslaf, the true belief of the sahaba, the true belief mentioned in Quran and Hadith, the true belief of all the mujaddideen, muhaddiseen, all the ulama and fuqaha. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our presence here. Wa akhir da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. زندہ آباد